I Sir Dithel, a dazzling secret agent, the revenge-seeking green-haired shaman. He generally has a kind heart, even though he has a similarity to an anti-hero. We'll be discussing his introduction past and much more. Here's the upcoming things in the video, and let's begin. Lysirk first appears dowsing for others who seek the Patch Village, and eventually leads him to Yo Asakura and his friends. Thinking Lysirk is a girl, Ryu takes a liking into him. Lysirk asks to join the group, Yo agrees, which surprises Talran and Horo Horo. Lysirk tells about him being a dowser and eventually shows the spirit ally, Morphine. Lysirk destroys Horo Horo and Ren in a fight, which later makes Yo intervene, destroying his pendulum, Spirit Medium. Lysirk replaces his cheap pendulum for his father's pendulum. As Yo is trying to take Horo Horo and Ren to the hospital, Lysirk attacks with the move Big Ben Wireframe. But he's quickly countered by Yo. Yo finally allows Lysirk to join the team to hear his story. Lysirk Dithel was born on May 17, 1986, in London, England, and raised by his father, Liam Dithel, to become a dowser. Later, he was given a test by his father to inherit his father's guardian ghost, Morphine. After succeeding, Lysirk comes home to nothing but his parents burning corpses and Hao Asakura standing there. Lysirk tries to stop Hao from leaving, but is knocked out. He is later rescued by firefighters and grows up with his maternal grandfather. We'll be looking at a prequel to Shaman King because it covers a lot in Lysirk's backstory that wasn't covered in the original series. His grandfather dies and he is later taken into a wealthy household. This is where he becomes friends with a boy named Watt Hudson. Lysirk and Watt Hudson become great friends as they spend time together. They are raised by a wealthy count named Ochnox. One night, when Lysirk is playing around with his pendulum, he talks to Morphine and he's having a casual talk and then he sees Watt Hudson walk into the room as a ghost. This reveals that Ochnox was dealing in human trafficking and after killing Watt attempts to kill Lysirk. Lysirk is filled with hatred towards Ochnox at this moment. He grabs Ochnox's guns and then is stopped by Watt Hudson. This actually reveals that Watt Hudson himself killed his own parents. He couldn't justify killing, so he took the love from Ochnox over the fact that he was human trafficking. Watt wanted to feel accepted and cared for. Unlike his parents, Ochnox was truly kind to him. Ognox takes opportunity of this weakness he sees in Lysurg and shoots him. Lysurg survives the shooting, but Ognox is later killed by Hal. Qualified for the shaman fights. It takes place on the rooftops of Tokyo. Bron is one of the 10 patch officiants that qualifies Lysurg. Lysurg has a fairy like spirit ally named Morphine. Lysirk's powers include the homing pendulum and the Big Ben wireframe. The homing pendulum is a far-range tracking item that uses mana. Big Ben wireframe has massive strength. The oversoul cannot be destroyed and it launches down on its opponent. Lysirk's initial mana of Furioku was 3,500. In the finale of the series, it is confirmed to be 115,000. Next time we will be covering more in depth of the X laws and how Lysurg is a part of it. Then we'll be covering Lysurg's archangel or guardian ghost, Zalel. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification to see the next part 2 of this video. Also a shout out to the Shaman King wiki for providing the information in this video.